bladder cancer. It's not something you hear about all the time, right? Or maybe you have and you heard the term urothelial cancer. It's basically the same thing. It is the same thing, but it's not that common. However, it is something that's not very forgiving or hasn't been for a long time. And the reason is, is because there wasn't a lot of treatment options. For one, bladder cancer doesn't really happen too much when you're younger. The reason bladder cancer theoretically happens, or one of the reasons, outside of trauma or you know those kind of things, is that when you're you know urinating, you're having toxins come out. Well, those toxins have to be basically collected in one place before they're evacuated into the toilet, and that's your bladder. So over years and decades, those toxins that you're urinating out start to accumulate in the bladder, which is why smoking, for example, is definitely linked to bladder cancer. However, when you get older, it's also harder to tolerate intense regimens, right? Chemo, and unfortunately, for a very long time, there was an intense regimen uh, with multi-agent chemotherapies that most people can't tolerate. And then there was a dual chemo regimen, which if you couldn't tolerate the intense one, that's basically all you had. And if you couldn't do that, kind of out of luck. Well, immune therapy came out relatively recently, which does improve bladder cancer and can qualify for people that cannot tolerate chemotherapy. Finally, finally, it's happened to where now we have actionable and targetable mutations that we can do with an oral pill to help control disease. Now, it doesn't just have to be stage four or metastatic. The key term is muscle invasive bladder cancer. That's the key. Every biopsy report should say, is it muscle invasive? Is it non-invasive bladder cancer being kind of like DCIS, right? That's stage zero breast cancer. It's not invasive yet, so it's stage zero. That's non-invasive. If it says no muscle present, the recommendations are to go back and biopsy because that is the key. Is it invasive bladder cancer or non-invasive? And the regimen for non-invasive is all kinds of things. Kind of scrape it out, put some stuff in the bladder, let it wash around, take BCG. But the invasive category is totally different and that goes down into what we just talked about. Chemotherapy, number one, that's intense. Little less chemotherapy, was nothing else. Now there's immune therapy. And then FGFR. That is a targeted therapy that we know works even in other tumor types like cholangiocarcinoma that needs to be tested because it's way more forgiving than chemotherapy, multi-agent chemotherapy. How do you know if you've been tested? You have to ask your urologist or oncologist, did I get molecular sequencing or NGS, next generation sequencing, or profiling on my tumor? If you did not get that, 100% of you will not be able to get this oral therapy that can potentially control or make the disease disappear for some time. Nobody will be able to qualify unless they have that testing, which is why it's so important to get that NGS testing on your tumor type. It's approved, it's covered by insurance, and really should be ordered as a standard of care.